All right, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different for this entry. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on something that I'm in the process of learning right now, Spark AR. And I'm doing this for a lot of reasons, but doing it because I think I can do better than other YouTubers I've seen tackle this subject is not one of them. I do not have technical proficiency as of yet, and I follow too many tangents for this to be uh, a purely utilitarian viewing experience. I just wanted to let you guys know that at the onset, and uh, but I, I, you will learn something from this video and maybe more uh, than just Spark AR basics. Hope you're cool with that. Okay, so Spark AR Studio is a software that enables users to make augmented reality filters and effects uh, for mobile cameras. It's owned by you guessed it, Facebook, uh, the tech giant that is all about owning things. Uh, and I mean, you know how it goes. Big companies get paranoid, uh, kind of like Stalin, and they go on these vertical integration vendors and they just snatch up startups uh, before the competition gets too powerful and that's just how it goes. Yeah, Facebook Reality Labs actually acquired a brain control startup last September. So yeah, they're they're on all that. It's um, it's all very horrifying, uh, but it is what it is. So in the spirit of transparency, uh, I'm gonna break down the reasoning for my making this video. Basically, I wanna learn the software before it becomes ubiquitous, if and when that happens. Uh, because learning things that are outside of your comfort zone keeps you young. There's a lot of science to back that up and uh, technological advancements in mediums we use to interact with each other and the world. Horrifying, it is out of my comfort zone. I'm killing two birds with one stone here. I'm staying young and I'm meeting my fear head on uh, as I try to learn a little bit about the artifice of the network that is increasingly dominating our lives. Also, I don't think I would be learning Spark AR if not for the potential to earn views and subscribers from a tutorial video. Uh, yeah, so please consider that if you're watching this. The Pew Research Center found that uh, tutorial videos are what bring 51% of US-based users to YouTube. So yeah, I'm, you know, you gotta do it for the SEO. And uh, know that I've been very clear on my vlogging ambitions. Uh, my dreams of being self-employed and adored or whatever. Uh, Spark AR is relatively new and even though a lot of influencers have you know, made these, I think there's still a market for it and I'm hoping uh, I can catch a bit of the wave. Before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to uh, of the Spark AR community who posted a grievance I'm sure many of the beta wave creators share. Current mm -hmm. epidemic of influencers spark courses, at least CIS IG community, and lots of newcomers has dramatically increased load for approvals employees. Simple filters which used to get approved in one to two days now are waiting five plus days. Uh, yeah, when you're done mm -hmm. with an effect in Spark AR, you have to submit it for approval before it can be seen by the general public. And uh, unfortunately, I am one of the newcomers that is talking about and I'm trying to be an influencer so so yeah that sucks I'm I'm sorry and uh, genuinely I am um, okay so let's get started um, okay so here is the effect we're going to build today I'm calling it not basic it's a beret hovering over my head going ham and I don't really like how it's interacting with my head there you see it's getting cut off but I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to tweak that and maybe I'll uh, put my findings in a later tutorial. Also, we have a content creator face tat uh, because if you're watching this, you're probably a content creator or, um, or maybe you're one of these people who likes to go by artist like me. Uh, but you know, if you're honest with yourself, you're only ever making art on the good days. If you're lucky, sometimes you never do. And uh, yeah, for the most part, we make content is what, it, that's what we're doing. But please note that I did make a compromise here. I, uh, I, I wrote creator in French, créateur, uh, because I feel like that gives it a bit more gravitas, uh, might lend it some association with French New Wave or, uh, or something. So, so yeah, download Spark AR, let's get started. So we are in Spark AR Studio. Let's go over the anatomy really quick. 
This is the viewport, and that's where you can see and build your effect. This is the simulator uh, where you preview the effect. And here we have the scene panel uh, that holds the building blocks of your effect. They're called objects. And when I think of objects, I think of, you know, tangible things that I can hold in my hand. But when you're in Spark AR, think of objects as more abstract things like face trackers or particle systems, uh, stuff like that. Here is the assets panel. Uh, this is where you'll add the details of the effect like textures and uh, materials. And this is the inspector. Use that to adjust properties of objects and assets. Also, there's this plus sign folder here uh, that you can click to access Spark AR's library. And it has ready-made assets like 3D objects and audio files that are made by Spark AR and Sketchfab if you want to use those to practice. Once you're done with your effect, you're gonna click this icon with the arrow pointing to a phone. Mm -hmm. That lets you either send a test file mm -hmm. to Facebook or Instagram, uh, or it sends it to the Spark AR player app that you can download on your phone. Or you can just go ahead and upload your effect to the Spark AR uh, hub to start the publishing process. Over here we have the control bar, I guess you'd call it. And you can change the subject of the video that will sport your effect for you. I like to use myself, so I go to FaceTime here. Uh, go over here, uh, resizable window. There we go. Okay, so first we're gonna have to make the tattoo, uh, and we need it to wrap around my cheekbone here. So there's a preliminary step. Uh, let's go to the Spark AR site and download the face reference assets. Uh, I have a direct link to that in the description. We're going to open up a photo editor, one of your choosing, whatever, uh, and bring in the masculine face, and then also bring in whatever you want your tattoo to be. I made a PNG of content creator in Illustrator. I couldn't find the exact font Post Malone uses uh, for his face tattoos, but uh, Utimia 1 by Bolt Cutter Design uh, seems to work pretty well, I thought, so I downloaded that. Link in the description to that as well. Scale the tattoo. Uh, I'm gonna warp it a bit, you don't have to. That's just a personal preference. I like my uh, tattoos a bit warped. And deselect the face, so it's just the tattoo, and save that as a PNG. Cool. Okay, so we are back in Spark AR, uh, and now let us commence the adding phase uh, of adding objects. Um, let's go over here, insert a face tracker. Uh, with face tracker selected, we're gonna add another object, um, face mesh, insert that. And now you see it looks like I'm about to go to a masquerade ball sponsored by Hot Topic or something. And we don't want that. So go to materials, add material. All right, so this is material zero. So let's go to material zero and add a texture, a new texture. And then let's look for that PNG that we made earlier. And there we go, there we have it. Okay, so let us uh, do the hat now, shall we? From the assets you got from the site, you should have uh, headoccluder.obj, and that helps us, you'll see how that helps us um, when we're working with 3D objects. We're gonna drag that onto the face tracker, if it's not tracking, make sure you drag it up there again. Uh, and there we go, we have it. Let's go to default object underneath head occluder. Okay, let's create a new material. Double click material one. Let's make it flat. And let's change the opacity here. Okay, cool. Go back to head occluder and then let's, let's scale it down, shall we? Because it's a bit big. Uh, so I found that my head is about 28% uh, the size of a head occluder.obj. So let's go to 0.28 here, 0.28 here, 0.28 here, enter. 
I plan on learning Cinema 4D or Blender uh, in the not too distant future, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I downloaded a 3D object off of Turbo Squid. So, uh, and if you plan on getting um, 3D objects online, just make sure that the format is compatible with Spark AR. Here mm -hmm. are the compatible formats. Cool, mm. so let us import our beret. And you can see I'm just like smothered right now in beret, uh, but we're gonna rescale it. And I like to type in my numbers uh, so I don't change the shape, uh, but you can resize things and rotate and drag over here as well, so. Let us uh, change the position. I'll drag it. I'll drag it up. And notice it's not tracking, so let's go over here and drag it to face tracker, maybe. Yes, there we go. Um, let's rotate that sucker. Let's drag it down. Let's scale it down even more, shall we? Let's get a 0.15. Cool. Oh, uh, no, it's... Okay, cool, so we have a nice little hovering beret thing going. Let's make the rotation uh, easy to remember for the animation, so... Uh, I'm going to make it negative 50, 0, and 25. Enter. Uh, maybe I'll drag it up a bit. Uh, we're going to open up the patch editor by clicking this arrow here. You see this little box pops up. We're going to add a patch. Uh, let us add a loop animation. And we're going to add a uh, transition patch. Okay, so for start in the transition box, let's match the properties of the rotation in this sidebar here, negative 50, 0, uh, 25. And then for the X and Z here, let's do the same for the end. And then for the Y, we will do 360 because we want a nice rotation. Cool. And then let's link these like so and you have a nice rotation here above my head okay so now we are going to drop the opacity of the head occluder go down to default object double click material and drag that opacity down and there you have it the not basic effect not basic and i'm calling it not basic uh because i made it i came up with the concept yeah i've always found the act of applying other people's filters to your face uh, basic uh, unless the applier is using it um, in an original way that serves satire or story I, I, I just find that it's uh, cheap um, to post filtered content it's uh, kind of like sharing a photo of you wearing an off-brand scream mask I mean the original scream mask is awesome. Inspired by Edward Munch's scream painting uh, developed by Bridget Slearton over at Fun World Cool, but you wearing it in the Halloween aisle of CVS 24 years after the movie's release. But now that you can create your own filter, it changes the game completely, and yeah, that's great. So, this has been my first uh, Spark AR tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and honestly, I feel better already uh, about AR. It's actually not any scarier than regular reality. Uh, I mean, we kind of augment regular reality anyway, right? With uh, confirmation biases and selective and reconstructive memory. I actually, I have vivid memories of me as a seven-year-old boy long jumping over the 250 meter lava lake at Kilauea. And my mom assures me we never went to Hawaii when I was a kid and that I must be recalling the Floor is Lava games that I used to host in our old studio apartment. So, 
but yeah, this has been fun. Um, maybe I'll make another one of these if this does all right. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, 